So this is the Asus ZenBook Flip 13 UX363, which is a laptop that's using an OLED screen. And uh, it's still pretty rare nowadays for a laptop to use an OLED screen. But well, since this laptop's specialty is in its screen, let's focus only on the screen itself today and also test its color accuracy, talk about some pros and cons about using OLED displays, especially for a laptop. So let's talk a bit about the laptop first. The ASUS ZenBook 13 UX363 comes with a 1080p OLED screen with 16 by 9 in aspect ratio and this panel is made by Samsung, one of the world's leading OLED manufacturers and it is also confirmed by this part number here in the device manager menu. Now, as many of you may have already known, OLED screens are pretty commonly found in phones throughout the years and because we are experienced with OLED displays on our phones, we are able to uniquely identify OLED screens based off these characteristics. Number one, OLED screens tend to be really bright. This display here is not even at 100% and it can fight off our bright studio lights without an issue. And number two, the colors of OLED displays are very vibrant. Number three, OLED displays can show true black colors because its OLED pixels will turn off when it's showing black color. That means since it's off, it's going to show true blacks. And number four, because of what it can do in number three, it has a very high contrast ratio. And that also means OLED displays are really satisfying to watch videos with, especially those with a lot of dark scenes. For example, one of those videos that I can think on top of my head right now is V for Vendetta. That movie is mostly shot in the dark, so a display like this will be magnificent for those type of movies. And combining an OLED screen with a convertible laptop like this, it just makes the overall movie watching experience just a lot more comfortable because you can just bring this laptop to a couch maybe, use it in tent mode or tablet mode and start watching a movie. And I would say that versatility is just pretty rare. ASUS also claims that this screen can go up to 400 nits in brightness and it covers 100% of the DCI-P3 color gamut. So with our colorimeter, we decided to test it and yes, those claims are true. But there are a few disadvantages when it comes to OLED screens. The most obvious one is going to be burn-in. I mean, we already know how burn-in looks, right? Especially on phones with an OLED display. Now, one trick to minimize burn-in is by pixel shifting. This technique is by shifting the image by a few pixels on the screen so that that particular pixel will not show the same image for a prolonged or extended period of time. But then again, pixel shifting will only prolong the inevitable. But one much better way to prolong your OLED display's life is by just turning it off entirely when not in use. Now, if you forgot to turn it off, then many OLED displays will either have a timer to turn it off automatically or in the case of this laptop right here, will force you to go into a screensaver which shows mostly black color. And then there are two more disadvantages that goes hand in hand. So like we mentioned earlier, OLED displays can go really bright, which is one of its advantages. But that also means that at higher brightness, the power consumption will be much higher than IPS LCD screens. And at higher brightness too, it means that your OLED panel will degrade quicker compared to at lower brightness, hence it will have burn-ins much quicker and also shortening its lifespan. But luckily though, OLED screens are too bright to use at full brightness anyway, so around 50% of OLED brightness, particularly for this laptop, is sufficient for most cases. Now, with that said, my concerns about laptops using OLED screens is the static elements. For example, your Chrome browser with the address bar, toolbars and whatnot, and also Windows with its taskbar at the bottom. I just move it to the side. Now, Windows do not have any OLED screen care features like pixel shifting or something like that. ASUS purposely developed that screensaver so that it does have some sort of OLED screen care technology built in but I would suggest ASUS to just make the screensaver show an entirely black image to begin with. So to all of those who are already using a laptop with an OLED screen or planning to buy one, 
please take care of your display and prolong its lifespan as much as you can. Now, I know it's beautiful, but OLED degradation is not a risk, it is a certainty. And that is all we have to share with you about the OLED displays on laptops. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comment section below. It's beautiful, but really need to take care of OLED panels. So far, phones will degrade in about 2-3 to three years, but also depending on what brightness and how long you use the phone every day. Um, yeah, if you already have those precautions for phones, do make sure to use those precautions for your laptop as well. And that's it. Yeah.